How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you can see today, we do have a league SPC in the shape of the J League, the Japanese League, of course. And uh, yeah, it gives you a choice of three players. One is Joe, one is Podolski, and one is the man you all wanted to see reviewed on this channel. And it's the man in the middle, Victor Ibarbo. So we're going to review him today and see what he brings to your team or my team in FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do by now. Bring that bloody hype. Smash the hell out that thumbs up button and let's aim for 1,000 to 2,000 likes on this review. It's the one that you guys wanted. I looked through the comments yesterday and um, the main one was Victory Barbo. So I'm giving you guys what you want. So if you do enjoy, smash that like. And if you are new to the channel and you've just found it by any way, shape, means or form, subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of exciting things coming up in the future. I can't really tell you about it right now. Subscribe to the channel and stay subscribed. Click that little notification bell to get like notifications of when I do upload the channel. YouTube can always be buggy and stuff like that. But with the notification system in place, sometimes you can get them like sent straight to your phone or something like that. But Victory Barbo is going to play a strike on a 4 2 3 1. Lads, let's see how he did. Let's get into the review. So here we go, then, lads. And as you can see in the top left hand corner of your screen, these league SPCs can be pricey, man. 250k on the Xbox, about 100k less on the PlayStation. There must be like more supply of the players on that console. 150 on that console for Victory Barbo. I don't know if that's worth it, man. He's got three star skills. Unfortunately, it's not four, and he could benefit from four star skills given his dribble and statistics. Apart from the balance, of course, it is 53. Yeah, he's got a four star weak foot. Fantastic. He's got medium and low work rates. His movement is very limited on this game. Due, I think, to those work rates, he's six foot two tall. And if you guys can remember Ibarbo in previous FIFAs, he was always a pace demon. He was a pace demon with strength and great, great shot power. Lads, the reincarnated of Ibarbo on this game. Just look at some of these stats, man. Pace, it's there. Shooting, it's there. Physical, it's there. Look at some of these, man. 94 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. Sensational. In terms of shooting, he's got 85 positioning, but the medium and low work rates can hinder the card in a certain number of ways, which I will get into once we do it. The review, he's got 77 finishing, plus 15 with his sniper chem style. He's got 99 shot power. That is the key. That is the key. It holds all the keys. It is a very, very good attribute is that. He's got 81 long shots, 80 volleys, and I scored some sensational volleys with Victory Barbo just with this them, 82 penalties, he's got 83 vision, a short pass, that's not good enough, but uh, it's, it is 78 in that category, it's not really that great, in terms of reactions, 77, composure, 73, agility is 89, and his agility allows him to do certain things on this game, this is one of them, what a finish that is, on the kind of flareful, uh, ag agile, agility, uh, it's, agility is not a word, <laughs> I'm telling you that straight away, but a very acrobatic, that's what I'm looking for, acrobatic finish there, from Victor Ibarbo, so he can do them, do the agility there. He's got the bicycle kicks and whatnot. And look at the accuracy on that volley, man. It was just sensational. Over the top of the keeper, back of the net. Easy as you like. Definitely my goal of the day. And in terms of Ibarbo, he's just powerful. He's pacey and he's got a great powerful shot on him. As he receives the ball back here, look at that power on that, man. That could have broke the back of the net if it was in real life. Sensational strike from Ibarbo as he runs off to the camera to celebrate in that pink kit. So in terms of the rest of his dribbling stats, like I said, he got 77 reactions, 73 composure. Not the greatest stats in the world, but the shot power, I think, makes up for that composure or the lack of composure. In terms of agility, it's 89. Like I said, it allows him to do certain things like you've just seen on your screen. He's got 84 ball control, 85 dribbling. In terms of head and accuracy, it's 69. And you might be wondering why I've got head in as he approaches. Because he wins all the headers, basically. Goal kicks, uh, courses and stuff like that. I can flick him on. I can get, definitely get involved in that sense of the word with his 84 jumping and he's 6 foot 2, is it? Yeah, 6 foot 2 height that he does possess. He's got great stamina. That shot was so damn close to wrestle in the back of the net. He's got 85 stamina, like I did say. He's got 93 strength. This guy's so damn powerful in this game. He's hold the players fantastic because of that. As you see, a heel to heel gets past one, a roulette to get past another, and a roulette to get past another. <laughs> Straight from kickoff. Easy as you like, man. Easy as you like. A great finish there from Victor Ibarbo. He's got 73 aggression as well, so he is kind of aggressive in the challenge, but uh, he wins the ball due to the strength that he does have. In terms of the best stats, he got the sprint speed, of course, 97. He got the strength, 93. He got the key stat to deal, which is the 99 shot power, the worst in terms of balance and composure of 73. Ibarbo from the edge of the area. Again, 
What you want to do with this card is not finesse it, just don't finesse it, just power it every single time, and it tends to kind of rock at the back of the net. It's, it's just a great strike. Nearly every single time with Victory Barbo he is that accurate on this game. So when it comes to pros, finishing has to be one of them, even though his stat is only 77, his finishing in game is incredible. And again, I do attribute that down the shot power of this card. That's good movement there that you've just seen in the background, but normally that doesn't happen. What I had to do to kind of trigger that was press LB to trigger the run and uh, run him in behind the defense, play it with Ronaldo, get the chance, he does score the goal. Um, yeah, it can happen, but his movement just is very limited due to the work rate. So he's got medium to low work rates. He's not going to stay on the last man. He's going to drop off a little bit, and he's going to tend not to run for the ball and get into good positions. However, if you press LB, he will get into more advantageous situations from time to time. As he goes inside the air, flicks it, flicks it up. It's not a sombrero flick. I literally flick him up myself. It's not one skill move. It's not a sombrero flick, and um, I'm using those buttons myself. He actually wins a penalty on that one as well. David Luiz kicking him in the balls. In terms of the pros and the finishing, the shot power, and and the pace, the pace is electrifying. And you might not wonder, does the pace kind of translate in the game? Because it is very high. It's 93 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. The sprint speed is definitely there. The acceleration can take a little while to kind of kick in. But once it does, this guy is off like a train. In terms of strength, that's, that's what makes him a train. He's so damn strong in this game. Very, very strong at 93 strength. When you get into the rest of his pros, you've got obviously his head in. And I'm not talking about the head in accuracy. I'm talking about literally heading the ball from goal kicks and flicking them onto fellow attackers. Agility which is 89, he's very quick on the ball but sometimes he can be very clumsy on the ball, not only does the agility allow him to be quick on the ball, it allows him to be acrobatic in terms of shots and that is very important with this card his agility it helps him, it does help him, but at the same time his balance hinders him because he can do a quick turn, then lose balance, and then just lose track of the ball as the ball's gone. Unfortunately, the defender will step in and take the ball away from him. In terms of cons, you've got the movement, of course, I've spoke about it at great length. His movement just isn't that great, and again, it will hinder him in the attack. I, I could put the balance in there, could put the head and accuracy in there. They're both cons, minor, minor cons in itself, but uh, the free star skills, I reckon he could benefit from four star, hence why the free star skills is in there or last of four star skills because if you had four star you'd just be so much more effective with La Croqueta it will actually be nuts on this game this card with four star skills would be a burden to any kind of user burden that's not the right word is it it'll be um an asset to anyone's team it really really would right now I reckon he's more of a super sub so let's get into the rating of Victor Ibarbo this was a blast from the past honestly it really was um, experiencing this card because he feels like a card of the past but unfortunately I just wish he had four star skills to kind of go with the agility that he's got the dribbling of 85 and the ball control of 84 I really reckon that would really benefit the card so all in all lads Victor Ibarbo will get the rating of an 8.5 which is a great rating for the card I'm not saying it's a bad rating I'm not saying it's a great rating it is a good rating for the card 8.5 very solid rating it's a, it's a rating that didn't expect to give Victory Babu. I thought he would be shite. I'm not going to lie. I thought he would be really bad. But in fact, he was actually quite good. He was scoring goals. His power was nuts. And that is the key pro today, which is his power of um, either anything, really. The power of the sprint, the power of his strength, the power of his shots. Everything about Victory Babu screams, I am the power. Uh, not me, literally. Just, I am the power in terms of Babu because he's that powerful in game. Value of coins, 6.4. I don't think he's worth 250k, but... 150k, again, I don't really reckon it's worth that. I reckon it's like an 80k card or something like that because it's a fun card to use. Don't get me wrong, it's a very fun card to use. But um, I don't reckon he's kind of foot champs ready in a like, sense of the word because Fernando Torres, there's a strong link for you. Fernando Torres is a strong link. You can get him in the team with Fernando Torres, like a weak link at Cam in like a 4-3-1-2 or something like that. Um, apart from that, the links are quite bad for this card. I'm not going to lie, they are actually quite bad. So if you look at that and then you look at the other things and look at the value of this SBC... I don't reckon it represents value for coins. I really, really don't. The, the max packs that you do get back is normally silver. I got very lucky. I got Sadio Mane in a pack, which still still sells for like 20k. So I, I completed this SBC uh, relatively cheap, and I had quite a few players in my club anyways. In terms of that enjoyment rating, 9.0. Like I said, it was a blast from the past, and in a good sense as well, because um, he was a very good card, and I did enjoy using this card, and using what he brought to the table. It's somewhat different, lads, and you need to adapt your game style to every single player you bring in. That's what I do in reviews anyways, and I definitely had to adapt to Victor Barbo, but once I did, I started loving the card. I really did. Foot champs ready. He's getting a 6 out of 10 in that category because like I did say with the links that he's got and stuff, it's, uh, it's very hard to get him in the team.
teams, but if he's in a team from the start, he's going to do a good job, but he won't do an amazing job as like other players on this game. He's not quite the meta, but uh, he'd be a great super sub on this game, despite the lack of four-star skills. When it comes to Perfect Links, there is no fellow Colombians at, um, at the club that he's at. What club is he at? Sagan Tosu. He's, there's, no, um, there's no fellow Colombians at that club to give him a Perfect Link, unfortunately, yeah. but there is one amazing strong link, and that is Fernando Torres flashback 92 rated when it comes to the weak links of course you got Colombians abroad well abroad from the Japanese League of course you got James Rodriguez you got Ramel Falcao who are really really rare on this game Zapata as well which will also come under the best because Fernando Torres obviously the best striker within that league Ibarbo coming in number two then you probably have like Joe David Villa and players like that in behind but so I'm not going to include them on that list in terms of the player per position within that nation Falcao leads the way lads Falcao leads the way he blasts everyone out of the water. Zapata will probably come in at number two, and then Ibarbo for me would come in at number three. In terms of some players, Romelu Lukaku, Jamie Vardy in terms of pace, and Marco Arnautovic in terms of kind of stature on the pitch. The key pro will be the power, the key con will be the movement, and the best game style will be Sniper. As you can see, it takes them to a decent rating per position, as you can see just below on the image. And lads, that's going to be it for this review. It's the one that you wanted, so I want to see that bloody high broad. So if you have enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, lads. And as always, I will catch you all next time.